Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Today we are going to set up a second spider tank. If you remember, the first spider tank that we set up on this second go-round was a big jar. And then in a couple of the videos we talked about the optics are horrible to film through that glass jar. So I decided to go back to that little two and a half gallon tank. And if you remember, we didn't like the two and a half gallon tank for Black Widows because you can't get it in that fine mesh. The mesh on the top is big and could easily let small spiders out as well as the gaps around the edges of that lid. And like we did on the jar, we just took a piece of furnace filter, cut it out to match the tank lid shape, used some silicone adhesive, glued it there, and then I put some silicone in the corner because these tank lids have big old gaps. And then put a little black duct tape around there. So yeah, it's got duct tape holding it together. Yeehaw! Now the thing about these two and a half gallon tanks, and they are very expensive. They're anywhere from $39 to $42 for this little tank. And that's without a lid. The lids are another, I don't know, I don't remember what I paid, another $10 for a lid. So yeah, it's an oddball size tank. It's approximately 6 inches wide, 12 inches long, and 8, eight inches tall. So it's, it's a perfect sized little tank, but it definitely is way expensive. It costs more than tanks, than the bigger tanks. And when I buy them, no, nobody locally has them, so I buy them on Amazon and they take... Oh, the last one took a month to get here, so yeah. But remember, we needed a tank that was small enough to fit inside of another tank that had a sliding lid in case some creatures escaped. But we're still doing the same thing as we did before that has that centralized pylon in there for this spider to hopefully stay on that and stay off the walls and then the lid of the tank. This tank should be big enough that we can put two or three Black Widow spiders in there and hopefully we'll get to see them interact in an interesting way. And we'll put a couple of crickets in here so the spiders will have something to eat. Now let's put the first Black Widow spider in. If you remember, this Black Widow here was the star of uh, that video we did last week. I believe it was called One Black Widow, One Jar in Three Months. During that video, she was hiding up on the lid. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, ugh. All right, we got her in there. Look at that. Big old spider. Well, let's see if she sees the crick. Oh, yes, she sees the crick. Look how quickly that happened. Instantly hit it with the web, spun around, shot out some web, tied it up, and hog tied him. And oh, you have these other crickets here, and it is not going to be good for the crickets. And a second cricket just got tied up. Look at this. She hasn't even eaten the first. Okay, look at This spider is hunting and capturing the food and going to eat it later. And it, her body is huge, so it's looking like, I mean, my guess is she's going to lay another egg sac. And I think just to be sure in this tank, when a black widow spider lays an egg sac, I'm thinking about going in there and pulling out that egg sac and destroying it before it hatches. Because we don't need any more spider bait. And yes, this is a real black widow. I'm going to hear about, oh, look at the color. It's a little cut. Okay, a black widow has a red hourglass on the abdomen. Abdomen? On its stomach. On its belly. So you're not going to see it from the top. It's a red back spider. You see it on the back. Now, some of the southern widows in the United States, they will have some orange or other markings on their back. This is a Western Black Widow. Also, this has almost a purplish hue to it. Now, some of the Black Widows are just jet black, and some have a slightly different color, but they do not have a False Widow color. And there's some big, we already talked about it in a bunch of different videos, there's a bunch of big differences between a Black Widow and a False Widow, namely, a uh, False Widow's egg sac is this loose blob thing, and a Black Widow has a perfectly shaped egg sac. So just looking at these egg sacs that were in the container, with this Black Widow, tells you that this is definitely a Black Widow. 
And the next contestant we're going to put in here, we'll probably introduce two females today, and maybe next week when I get a chance, we'll put a third and maybe a fourth in here. This tank is plenty big for multiple female black widows. We're going to take one of the salt shaker widows. This is one of the newer ones that was caught within the last month, and we are going to take her egg sacs away and just get them out of there because we're not putting egg sacs in. Remember the first tank, we put a spider and an egg sac in and then the egg sac fell to the bottom and a couple within a couple hours she had drugged that egg sac back up to the top and then within a week she laid a second egg sac so yeah we were not gonna we're gonna not have any of that in this tank as you can see here these are both black widows but they are very different looking in color and appearance so you don't just go by color it with a black widow and you can't go by body size because this one looks like it's gonna lay an egg sac and it's huge compared to this other one with a narrow body Whoa, whoa, what is going on? Wow, <laughs> did not see that coming. And check this out. This should really say something to you guys. Well, I mean, it says a lot of things. But here's two black widows. One was considerably bigger than the other. And look what just happened. And you can notice how the black widow does it. Whips out the web, turns its tail to the enemy, and just starts tying it up. It hog tied that spider. How quickly was it? It was over. Man, these. This tells you how creepy these things are. Well, so much for our multiple black widow tank this week. We introduced three crickets. Well, there was a fourth cricket I think got away. Two black widows. As soon as we introduced the first Black Widow, she instantly just took off after them crickets, tied them up, and then as soon as we introduced the second Black Widow, bam, this happened. So yeah, the whole theory about having multiple predators in one container as long as you give them enough food, either that or these spiders are just having a bad day, I, I, man, it's... I have had multiple Black Widows together in the same container, way smaller than this, and have not had a problem. But this will they just did not like each other. And then, as nature goes, one became lunch. Okay, so I guess we're just going to stop right here today. A lot has happened in this video, and man, I, yeah, it's, wow. I'm not often at a loss for words, and you know, nothing really shocks me anymore when it comes to Black Widow spiders, but we had big plans, or bigger plans, and yeah, they were just, oh, man. All right, so, you saw it here first, right? This is definitely a Black Widow. I mean, I know it is, but this is for those of you out there who, who keep thinking you're experts because you saw a video of a Black Widow on YouTube and now you guys are all spider experts. Well, of course, to be a spider expert, you have to put Black Widow spider videos on YouTube. Is that how it works? Anyways, so yeah, this is definitely a Black Widow. Leave your comments in the comment section. And hey, as always, thanks for watching. Do you feel itchy? I do. Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.